Richard Southern joins us once again. We're chatting about some of the more interesting stories of the day. I love this one, Richard. A southern Alberta town has a new cheesy claim to fame. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's getting me all emotional. I really <laughs> love it. Are you getting so emotional, much. are you? Okay. Stunningly beautiful. It conjures up a lot of it's true you know, art. Uh, good emotions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a Cheetos statue unveiled in a small, <laughs> look at it, <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful, uh, Erica. It is, it's bringing me to tears too. You kind of just want to lick those fingers, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you want to lick straight, you know what this Cheetos has said, Cheetos of course put this up, they said the dust that's left on your fingers is called Cheetle, they have a name for it. Oh. And, <laughs> The more you know, okay. <laughs> the more you know. And appropriately enough, this statue was erected in Cheadle, Alberta. That's why they put it there. Uh, quote, where else would could we... Could the Cheetos brand honor the iconic Cheetle if not here in Cheetle, Alberta, says the PepsiCo-owned Cheetos, Erica. Well, it works. Let me tell you, if I'm ever driving around that area, I do have to stop to see that, st that statue. You're pulling over. I'm pulling over, pulling taking over. photos and everything. Okay. <laughs> A 162-year-old painting has the internet baffled because it looks like the subject is holding a smartphone. I want to show it to you, and I think... It's kind of what you're going to see right away. This is from 1860. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't, look at that. It does look like she's holding a smartphone. Is she checking her Insta <laughs> in 1860? <laughs> and why TikTok. are you talking to me? Put your phone down, lady. I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a famous painting called The Expected One. And uh, it turns out art critics, art experts say she's actually reading a prayer book while going for a stroll. But it just goes to show how we look at things through our 21st century lens. And maybe we're so obsessed with our phones, that's what we see right away, Eric. If I ever commissioned a photo, it would be like that, I think. I would just stand still. And if you ever uh, see me walking down the street, painting, too, I should say. It was a beautiful, and I'm always looking at my prayer book, not my phone, if you That's, see me walking down the okay. street. Eric. Good to know. Yeah. Finally, one lucky fan got his hands on one of the most valuable baseballs in recent history, and he's not sure what he'll do with it just yet. Must be nice uh, to catch a $2 million baseball and not know what you're going to do with it. Hmm. This is a dude in Texas last night, caught Aaron Judge's record-breaking 62nd home run that surpasses the American League record. Uh, his name... Uh, Corey wow. Umas, look at that nice catch, Erica. Yes. Now this gentleman, he works in finance, so there's questions about if he needs the two million or not. But experts say, in fact, he's actually received an offer for two million, so that's kind of <laughs> what it's worth. But he says, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to sell it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Anyways, the most expensive home run ball ever sold was for three million. Mark McGuire's record-breaking one in 1999. So we'll see if Judge ever gets that one back. If he wants it. He might have to pony up for it, Erica. It must be nice to have options for that. Must man. be nice. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Richard. All we all we have is Cheetle. That's all we have. <laughs> We're going to see Cheetle. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>